things you didn't know about Malawi. Malawi is often overshadowed by its neighbors Tanzania and Zambia due to its modest size. This tiny country, on the other hand, offers a unique experience rich in culture, history, and breathtaking natural beauty. Malawi is a lovely country with a lot to offer visitors. Malawi is a republic with a population of more than 19 million people. The official language is English, however Chichua is spoken by the vast majority of the population. The capital is Lilongwe, while the commercial center is Blantyre. The country is almost half the size of the United Kingdom. This landlocked country has a rich and ever-changing scenery. With it comes a plethora of activities to partake in, sights to view, and fascinating information. It may be one of Africa's smallest countries, but its very geography, which ranges from forest reserves to spectacular mountain summits, contains an astounding amount of diversity. Its tiny size makes it simple to travel, which is made further easier by its reputation for kind and generous people. Do you want to learn more about this unique vacation spot? Here are a few intriguing Malawi facts. 10. Malawi is rich in rock art. The richest concentration of rock art in Central Africa may be found in Malawi. It can be found all over Malawi, although the most of it is in Central Malawi, near Mozambique's western border. The Chingoni rock art area, a cluster of forested granite hills totaling 126.4 square kilometers and home to 127 sites of rock art dating from the late Stone Age to the 20th century, is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. The majority of paintings may be traced to one of two groups, hunter-gatherers or farmers. Animals, anthropomorphic beings, and geometric symbols make up the majority of the photos. To this day, these continue to play a vital role in ceremonies and rituals. 9. You can find a piece of Scotland in Malawi. Blantyre is a city in Malawi's south that was built by Scottish settlers in 1876. It was called after David Livingstone's birthplace in Scotland, Blantyre. Livingstone was a mapmaker who created a map of Lake Malawi. He also resisted the country's slave trade. Blantyre is home to some of the Scottish landscape's highest points. The climate here is cooler than the rest of the country, which is one of the reasons why Europeans picked this location. 8. Tobacco counts for a lot of its exports. Malawi's raw tobacco exports make for about 70% of the country's total exports, totaling $584 million. Tea is worth $83.4 million, whereas raw sugar is worth $75.2 million. Malawi's top importers are Belgium, the United States, Egypt, South Africa, and Germany. Malawi, behind Kenya, is the continent's second largest tea grower. The seeds from the botanical garden in Edinburgh Church of Scotland Mission in Blantyre were used to start the tea industry in 1886. The ancestor of the original tea plantation may still be seen in Moulange today. 7. Malawi is one of the safest places to visit in Africa. Africa is a large continent with a justifiable reputation for violence and criminality. There are pockets of war, terrorist-controlled areas, and megacities where being a foreign solitary female traveler will be disturbing at best. Malawi, on the other hand, is a small rural country that is relatively safe. According to Answers Africa, it is Africa's sixth safest country. 6. Malawi is one of the poorest countries on earth. As far as Africa goes, this is a little country around the size of Bulgaria. It is, nonetheless, one of the poorest countries on the continent, severely reliant on international aid. Malawi also produces tea, coffee, and a variety of other products, but not in sufficient quantities to make the country affluent. Wood scarcity is also common in many poor countries, with much of the forest being cut for firewood. 5. The largest elephant translocation in history happened in Malawi. In 2017, 520 elephants were successfully relocated from Maji and Liwan National Parks in Malawi to Nkata Kota. Poaching had drastically reduced the population of elephants and other species in Nkata Kota National Park. 
This elephant relocation was intended to aid in the park's repopulation. 4. Malawi is the first country outside of Denmark to have a factory for brewing Carlsberg beer. The factory first opened its doors in 1968. The Danish foreign minister disliked the beer given to him on his visit to the country. Therefore, he proposed that a brewery be built in Malawi. You can obtain a cool Carlsberg beer for a very low price in the country thanks to him. 3. Lake Malawi is a magical lake in the country. For a very interesting and strange reason, it is known as the Calendar Lake. The lake bears a striking resemblance to the yearly calendar. The lake is 365 miles long and 52 miles wide at its widest point, and it is fed by 12 major rivers, hence the name Calendar Lake. Lake Malawi is Africa's third largest and the world's ninth largest lake, a vast, uninhabited expanse bordering Mozambique and Tanzania. The lake covers over a fifth of Malawi's total land area. 2. The wildlife of Malawi is quite impressive. While most people focus on the Big Five, the country's Little Five will amaze you. Among them are the elephant shrew, buffalo weaver, leopard tortoise, ant lion, and rhino beetle. Malawi's wildlife is comprised of the country's vegetation and animals. Malawi is a landlocked country in southern Africa, with Lake Malawi occupying roughly a third of the country's surface area. It has roughly 187 animal species, 648 bird species, and around 500 fish species, many of which are indigenous, in its lakes and rivers. Approximately 20% of the land has been designated as national parks, game reserves, and forest reserves. 1. Malawi is UNESCO protected. Lake Malawi National Park, which was first listed in 1984, and the Chingoni Rock Art Area, which was listed in 2006, are both UNESCO World Heritage Sites in Malawi. The Chingoni Rock Art Area is made up of 127 locations that house Central Africa's most extensive collection of rock art. They provide a fascinating look into the hunter-gatherer and agriculturalist rock art traditions from the late Stone Age to the current day. Malawi is a small country. It may be unsatisfactory, and the infrastructure may be inadequate. It is, nonetheless, warm, accepting and full of individuals who are ambitious. It's the ideal place to visit if you've never been to Africa before. Thank you for tuning in. If you liked the video, please like, share, subscribe, and set on notifications to receive updates on new Africa-related videos.